Hi, I got this request from a guy that wanted uh, to create a series of uh, working days and he wanted to exclude uh, weekends and public holidays. So it works like this, just drag it out and it will display only weekdays and uh, only working days and exclude weekends and the holidays listed in the holidays sheet. So here I have um, added the public holidays in Norway. This is our constitution day. Please celebrate. And I have also added my wish for a summer holiday. So if I go here and uh, want to look at July it says that I'm not going to work in July until the 25th of July uh, so because my vacation ends on Friday I get uh, Saturday and Sunday as a bonus and I start on Monday and um, oh, this is not so I thought I would look at the Norwegian Constitution Day, but uh, it's on the weekend, so we will not see it anyway. Uh, what I've done is that I've written a new function in uh, Excel that's called Next Workday, and just feed it with a date, and uh, it will display the next workday. The first one is a bit tricky because if it if we write the first date manually. Uh, we can accident accidentally write uh, use a date that is a Saturday or Sunday or uh, a public holiday. So um, to avoid that, we can use the date function uh, like I've done here. And we just use the date function and we feed it with year, month and day, the first day of the year. And then we subtract one. So we go to the last day of the previous year and then it will find the next working work day in this year. So that's how it ouch yeah. So I go back to January January and it finds that the fourth of January we are going to work in twenty sixteen. So this seems to work nicely. Mission accomplished. Okay, that's it. Have a nice day. Bye bye.